Welcome to The Brunch Club. This is where we raise a glass and champion female talent and leadership everywhere, and where sparkling is always encouraged. We toast to all of the amazing, diversely faceted women out there, filling your cup with inspiration and encouragement. Our guests are here to share their personal stories, experiences with careers, family, parenting, equality, mentorship, and advice. Welcome to The Brunch Club. So this is a different episode of The Brunch Club. I'm gonna be in the hot seat today and the ladies are gonna ask me questions and I'm gonna to try to give you some rapid fire answers. So kind of taking some inspiration from the book where I give my two cents or my advice or my wisdom or what works for me and maybe it'll help work for you too. So, all right. Um, before we came on, I was just like chatting off stage and I was like, oh, is it 12 o'clock yet? Because I'm intermittent fasting and I try not to eat until 12. It was like 1147. I was like, it's close enough. I'm going to have some trail mix. But I don't like just any trail mix. I like to mix two types of trail mix together because if you got, buy the kind that has the cranberries or the raisins, it's like too much berry and they often don't salt the nuts. But if you buy the cashews, or the almonds that are salted, then they don't come with any of the berries. So it's not enough. So I gotta buy like the kind, the different kinds and then mix them together. Um, Christian and I were traveling one time. We were visiting a client in Texas and I can like just pick up trail mix and like eat that pretty much like all day. And she's like, are you going to stop to eat ever? I'm like, why? It's like a complete meal. Um, so yeah, so I love trail mix. I always have it around and I always am making my own blend of trail mix. We should do a Sunday brunch trail mix. <gasps> All right, see, you just never know when these <laughs> ideas are gonna come. Okay, officially real question, go ahead. My first question for you, Rachel, is what are the tools that you have in your toolbox that have helped you to become successful? That is a very good question, but who is this person asking me this question? Does anyone want to know who I'm sitting <laughs> and chatting with today? You should tell everybody who you are. My name is Hallie Hoppert, and I have just recently formed a partnership, a connection with Rachel, and she is teaching me the ways of the marketing world, and hopefully we'll continue to work together. So I'm so glad that Hallie is here. It's absolutely perfectly <laughs> fitting that Hallie is the one here with me today because you just never know where you're going to meet the right people at the right time. And you know what? Like you were very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Memorable, noteworthy. Um, when you were so brave to like introduce yourself into this this world of the Sunday brunch world. <laughs> and Hallie's just been amazing and exceeding Thank expectations you. every step of the way. Thank so you. this is gonna be really fun. So, mm -hmm. all right, my tool chest. Um, I'd say that consistency and discipline are really like at the top of that list in terms of like as an overlay on top of everything. Um, but I have certain go-to things that I'll, I'm happy to share. So, um, I like to drink a whole bottle of water in the morning when I get up before I'm allowed to have my coffee. That's like one of my little like isms that I do. Um, I like to put bullet, uh, bulletproof creamer in my coffee, but the non-flavored one. I don't like the, <laughs> the flavors, they're gross. I've tried the pumpkin spice and the vanilla and whatever, I don't like them. Um, and I have a little frother and I always like to froth it. So let's see, that's a little ism that I don't always talk about, but this is the brunch club. This is where we talk about this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, let's see. Um, I love shopping at Home Goods. I got these chairs at Home Goods. <laughs> Sometimes if I'm having like a bad day, I'm like, oh, I need to like organize something to feel better or I need to go to Home Goods. And normally that'll like do the trick if I'm like feeling off. Um, let's see. What other things? Um, exercise and fitness. You guys, if you know me, you know exercise and fitness is a really big, important part of my life, my daily routine, um, whether it's going on a walk, working out in my home-built grit garage at the house or my infrared sauna, um, using the In Harmony Sound Lounge, super important to my health and my wellness and my fitness routine. So that's critical. Um, also, oh, 
Well, thank you for asking about the In Harmony <laughs> Sound Lounge. All right, so one of the Sunday Brunch Agency clients is this amazing company called In Harmony. You can find them at iaminharmony.com. They make vibroacoustic furniture. Now, what is that? It's a fancy word, right? All that vibroacoustic means is the combination of music and vibration together. Okay, so when you have music and vibration together, what happens is you can reset your nervous system. So let's say you're having a stress day at the office or your kids are stressing you out and you're feeling anxious or worried. Okay, so if you lay down or sit down on one of the InHarmony products and you listen to the music that has been composed specifically to help you relax or it's or to help you feel inspired or to help you you know reset you'll feel calm cool collected and ready in as little as 11 minutes to get back on with your day or to sleep better or to recover from your workout better all of these things because when your nervous system can reset you can digest better you can think better your blood pressure is better like all of these health benefits and it's it's a natural you know, experience. So it's not like I'm saying like, go take some pills or something like this is just take the time to listen to some great music and you either sit or lay on the different in harmony suite of products. They just came out with a massage table. Um, they have the sound lounge I mentioned, they have a meditation cushion. Um, so in harmony is amazing. I can't say enough good things about it. I know that I don't play favorites with my clients. I love all my clients the same, but it's worth talking about in harmony right now because I think health and wellness and, you know, physical wellness, mental wellness, like it all plays together. And this is really important. So I want to raise awareness on that for everybody. It's definitely a tool in my tool chest. I swear I got back to the answer eventually. <laughs> yeah. My next question that I have for you is how do you find a balance between your work and your personal life? I don't believe in a balance between my work and my personal life. <laughs> um, so contrary to what is a trending topic of, you know, the work-life balance, um, I believe that when you love what you do, it's a, then that's a hobby that you just happen to get paid for. And if we're all blessed to have a job that feels like that, um, then, I mean, I never need to retire. I never really need to take a vacation from my life. I love my life. I love working and, you know, it's, seamlessly integrated with, with who I am. Um, some people might play devil's advocate on that and say, well, that's kind of boring, <laughs> but, um, but I don't think it is. I really like it. Um, I like being able to work from anywhere. I like being able to work from a, a beach, um, you know, in the tropics or in Europe or on a cruise boat and also pair that with a vacation or with like a friend trip and, you know, just integrate in my work, um, as part of my routine. So, that's how I do it. Some people do separate it, but it, that just never worked for me. Cause <laughs> like my kids, for instance, like if I'm picking them up from school and then I'm going to practices, I'm working from the car. Um, you know, that's just part of, of the day-to-day -day life. So how do you structure your week? What does a Monday to Friday look like for you? Monday to Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Every, every day is a work day. Um, in some regard, uh, how do I structure my week? So, wow, I live and die by my calendar. I have these alarms that go off. I guess this is one of my tools. I have these alarms that go off throughout the day and I set them the night before. So let's say I'm getting ready for bed. So the next day I'll set my 5 a.m. alarm. I'll set my six o'clock alarm, which means I need to be done working out. I'll set my 6.30 alarm, my 6.40, 6.45, wake up Elizabeth, 7.20, get the kids in the car, 7.30, the car has to leave the house, so they have like a buffer. Nine o'clock is a reoccurring meeting with a client, and then I've got alarms da -da 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 that coincide with every other appointment for the day or time to leave to drive to get to the next appointment, because otherwise I will get hyper-focused on what I'm doing, and I can't miss a meeting or a call or a school pickup or something. Like, I gotta have those alarms, and I love the ringtones, because like sometimes the different ringtones mean different things, and that's helpful as well. So like when the kids were little, I could do like a 
duck quacking and like that meant put on your shoes or like a car engine revving meant like get in the car. Then it's like we had other ones and that helped that way I wasn't always yelling at them. So like, get your shoes on, get your backpack, get your lunch. You know, like it was more um, smooth. So, but they're a little bit older now, so it, it's not so bad. What kind of qualities are valuable to have to succeed in the marketing world? What are you looking for in somebody? So Sunday Brunch is a virtual agency ever since we started in 2016, which means we don't have an office, which means we work out of restaurants, coffee shops, private business clubs. We work out of our clients' offices or studios. Um, we didn't need an office and we felt like we wanted the freedom and flexibility to work from anywhere. So to be successful on our team, you need to be a self-starter. You need to be motivated and driven. Um, you need to be collaborative. You need to be positive. And these are all parts of our culture. So even though we're apart, whether it's different states or different countries that we're in at the time, our culture is, is a supportive yes culture. And we all do what we need to do in order to support each other. Um, now, that being said, the candidates that are coming into the marketing space right now, um, I've noticed a bit of a shift over the last few years. A lot of candidates that aren't really committed to the industry because I think maybe they don't really love it or maybe they think that something better might come along. But what I'm looking for is people that want to work with us and people that really love this industry. So if you love advertising, you love marketing, you love public relations, like we'll find a way to help you nurture those skills and build your professional excellence along with your personal passions and interests and hobbies and, you know, in a supportive, nurturing environment. Um, you know, when you first started um, introducing yourself and we started giving you small projects, mm -hmm. it was really delightful to see you go above and beyond, to see you deliver early, to see you take initiative, to see you ask good questions, um, dependability, consistency, dedication, passion. Like, these are things that I think every successful person has. Um, so it's nice to see that shining through in you. Thank you. Yeah, it's really good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, we have a lot, I think, of programs and opportunities to nurture young ladies. Um, I'm thinking about my daughter right now. She's 13. She's a part of the National Charity League. She's done Girls Inc. Um, leadership courses, entrepreneur um, classes at Chapman. And, you know, it's in contrast to what my 10 year old son is experiencing because there's not a lot of courses for young boys right now that are teaching those types of skills. It's more just like go play sports. Um, so I think that, you know, our society is doing a lot to champion women and to nurture them as they're coming through um, to tell women, you can be a boss, you can have these skills, you can go far in business. And there's a lot of business owners and leaders right now that are like, yeah, let me help you. How can I give you the opportunities that I maybe I didn't have? How can I open doors for you? How can I remove roadblocks for you? How can I help make your dreams and, re and goals come true, right? That's, I think this generation of business owners we all have that open spirit mentality. We want to see you get to where we are or even further, mm -hmm. whatever that may be for you. What does the future look like for Sunday Brunch Agency? Hey, Krisha, what does the future look like for Sunday Brunch Agency? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be golden. Yes. Um, we're, we're evolving as technology and society and the marketing um, you know, platforms are evolving. You know, we're, we're doing that. We're changing with the times. Um, our leadership um, is growing. Our team is growing. And, you know, I think we're really blessed to have um, a very strong team right now and some really amazing clients that I'm super grateful for. And yeah, it's, uh, it's, gold. it's looking golden. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by The Brunch Club. It's been our pleasure to share this time with you. We look forward to bringing you more sparkling inspiration next weekend. If you have feedback, topics, or want to nominate someone to be a guest on the show, please reach out to us at rachel at sundaybrunchagency.com. Cheers.